Hey, how's it going guys? Jackson here with the Toasty Bros, and today we're going to be doing something a little different. Hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so what we're going to be doing is a basic computer quiz. So, yeah, this is a little bit different from normal. We're probably not going to do a lot of these, of course, because it is a little bit boring. But, you know, for some people out there, this would be a good little test of, you know, just what you know about computers. It's pretty basic. Um, so, we're just going to see what you guys know. So, number one is going to be, what is this? Give you guys a second to think about it. I just want to know the basic definition of what it is. Alright, if you haven't figured it out yet, it's a CPU. This is the basically the brains of your computer. It's what computes all of the processes going on. So number two. All right, what is this? This is a GPU or graphics processing unit. This is what processes your graphics and what will actually display the images. Now, you know, keep in mind, uh, you know, some of these are integrated and things like that, but that's something we'll get into later. All right, what is this? That is RAM, R-A-M, or Random Access Memory. That is what stores your, you know, basically like your current functions. It's temporary memory. All right, what is this? All right, this is a PSU, or power supply. So this is basically what, you know, puts power to the whole entire computer. You have your 24 pin or 20 pin, uh, you know, just all your connections is what powers your computer. <laughs> All right, what is this? Hope you guys know this one. This is a motherboard, or MOBO, as some people might call it. This is where you put all of your components on. It's basically where they all interconnect and how they all communicate with each other. All right, so I want to know, you know, go ahead and tell me what both of these are for, and also tell me what the difference is. Okay, so the one right here, this is an SSD or a solid state drive. So what this does is there's no spinning parts in it, there's nothing that moves. It's basically like a big flash drive. They're more expensive, but they're faster, they're harder to break, you know, they're more solid, and so the reason why they call solid state drives, nothing's moving. So this one is, you know, this is just a Western Digital, it's your basic HDDD, or no, wait, H, yeah, hard disk drive, um, HDD, yeah, I said 3Ds. These are 2Ds, um, and that's hard disk drive. And so you have a disk in here, like a platter with a little spindle that reads everything. Um, you can have multiple disks. Uh, depending on how big the drive is, usually they have more than one disk. Okay, so this is kind of a peripheral, but you know, go ahead and go ahead and tell me if you know what this is. This is a LAN card. This is a local access. Uh, wait, what is this stand for? Local access network, uh, something like that. See, uh, I feel kind of dumb, I don't even remember what it is, but basically you would plug your Ethernet right into here, or um, some of these will have, you know, they can take RJ45 and um, RJ11. Uh, this is how you would basically get your internet. Um, a lot, most computers don't usually use it now. Normally you have an integrated Ethernet, um, you know, card, or you use, you know, Wi-Fi. You just plug in your USB, or there's also um, Wi-Fi cards like this too. kind of just varies. Okay, so next we just have two questions that we're just going to go through real quick. So first, what is binary? Just what's the basic definition? Alright, if you haven't guessed it by now, it is a 1 and 0. So basically 1s and zeros is how, you know, what they want for the definition. And essentially a 1 is on and a 0 is off, which a little example, if you ever look at, you know, the back of anything with a switch on it, um, normally they'll have a little 1 or 0. Um, and basically that's saying, you know, the one is on, the zero is off. And that's how binary works, is it sends ones and zeros or on and off signals um, of actual, you know, electrical current. Okay, next one is, what is an APU? And this is sort of like a CPU, just to give you guys a hint. And we've had some videos on it, which we have a lot of, uh, you know, people commenting on that, so hopefully you guys know what this is. Okay, so this is a advanced processing unit or accelerated processing unit. It's basically just a CPU and GPU combined. So it's just it looks like a processor, like a normal you know processing unit, but you have your CPU and GPU in one. Okay, next question, which I have in the sticky note right here, and you guys can't read it right now. I just want to know if you guys know you know your basic size units of storage. So you know I want to know 
in what order do you know the bytes and bits and gigabytes and all that go and if you know you know how much each of them are equal to and this one um, you know you probably won't be able to get all of them in your head but most people know you know how it works okay so basically you have your bits which is almost like your binary it's your ones and zeros and then most, you don't usually talk about nibbles but it's basically four bytes usually you skip a nibble you go you know from a bit and then a byte is eight bits so once you go from that, you go to a kilobyte, which is 1,024 bytes, and then it just kind of keeps going up. So basically, each time it goes by 1,024. And whenever you see storage and things like that, they'll usually be um, even numbers, like as in they'll actually go by, you know, you'll see certain patterns occur, which is, it's kind of cool how it works when you really, um, you know, look at the numbers, you'll see how, le like I'm saying, that there's certain patterns, you'll just have to look at it to actually see them. So that's pretty much it for this video. Like I said, it was just a short little quiz um, just to kind of see what you guys know because, you know, you guys, some of you know more than us. Some people don't know as much, you know. It's kind of like, it's kind of fun to see what we know. So feel free to comment, um, you know, if you got any of them wrong or if you feel as though some of them were actually different definitions than what I said because most of these, I actually all of them I made up myself besides, you know, this one. This is just factual, but... Most of them, you know, I made up and just made their own questions. So, yeah, just, you know, tell me what you think about it. And we hope you guys have a good day and hope you guys did well in the quiz.